much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. <laughs> 